In this video, we will learn how to repair a worn cable and reconnect the swivel while on the job in the field. Always look for damage and wear to your mainline cable. When a repair is needed, bring the drill stem partly out of the borehole and secure with the J-wrench so the swivel can be accessed. Then pull enough cable out through the socket to get past the worn section of the cable. The cable should be repaired when several of the wire strands are broken. You can cut the cable using a hacksaw or cutoff wheel. You will also need a fire pit or a torch to melt the babbit. We use this 7500 watt inverter connected to the battery to run the cutoff wheel. Wrap your cable with tape or bailing wire to keep it from unraveling when you cut the worn spot from the cable. Melt the babbit from the swivel to save for reuse. Then knock out the old cable from the swivel. Before sliding the swivel back onto your cable, make sure that cable is routed through the top of your stem socket. Slide the swivel back down the cable and wrap bailing wire around the cable for about 5 inches from the end to keep the cable from unraveling. Now untwist every individual strand of wire for three or four inches, making the appearance of a broom. You need to cut and remove the rope from the middle of the cable. Lightly burn off any oil residue on the wires. Undo the bailing wire and slide the swivel up the cable until the wire ends are about a quarter inch recessed into the swivel. Find some clay from around your drill site to plug up and seal the swivel to the cable preventing molten babbit from draining out the bottom. Wrap bailing wire around the cable to hold the clay in place. Use a steel stake to position the swivel upright. Apply heat to both the ladle of babbit and the swivel until the babbit is liquefied and then pour the babbit into the hot swivel until the swivel is full. After the swivel cools, remove the bailing wire to hold the clay. Now tighten your cable and lift the stem to remove the J-wrench, and you're ready to be back to drilling.